Fantasy playoffs are underway. Hope you weren't counting on the Red Rifle to lead you to the championship game like I was. Good times. Hey, got to keep rolling with the punches, guys. Week 15 of Keeper starts right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Keepers. I'm Susanna Collins. You made it this far, which means you either earned a first round buy like this girl, or you won your wild card round. Either way, good on you. But hey, let's keep the celebrating in check, all right? The real work starts now. Pull up those bootstraps. Here are my week 15 sits and starts. Start Denard Robinson. He's set to start for Jacksonville for the first time this year, a role he filled quite capably last season. And he gets the added boost of facing the hot mess that is the Atlanta Falcons, who are on their third straight road game and that have allowed multiple rushing scores in each of their last three outings. Woof city. Sit the Bills defense. They'll again be without Kyle Williams, Stephon Gilmore, Aaron Williams, and possibly Nigel Bradham, which has been a tough pill to swallow and certainly doesn't bode well for a trip to D.C. against Kirk Cousins, who, when playing in his backyard, has a passer rating superior to guys like Brady, Palmer, Newton, Rogers, and Big Ben. Believe me, I'm as shocked as you are. Start Heath Miller. Ol' Heath's always been Mr. Reliable for Roethlisberger. Now, there's been just four games this year that he's played with Ben from start to finish. And in those four, Miller's put up 30 catches for 270 yards. That's a little something I like to call chemistry, folks. And there's no reason to think he'll be relied on less with those wideouts set for a 60-minute dogfight with Denver's nasty corners. Sit Stefan Diggs. Diggs' production has been steadily declining from that torrid start, and this game against the Bears is unlikely to lend itself to a big turnaround since they ought to be able to get back to riding Purple Jesus without having to worry about keeping up with an explosive offense like the last couple of weeks. Damn you, Chicago. Start Kamar Aiken. No matter how ugly a team's QB situation is, and oh baby, it doesn't get much more hideous than having a QB room composed of an old and injured Matt Schaub, Jimmy Clausen, and Ryan Mallett, at least we know Aiken will get targeted a bunch as evidenced by his five plus catches in each game since the calendar flipped to November. So hey, there's that Baltimore. Sit Darren McFadden against the Jets, who have quietly rediscovered their mojo in defending the run. McFadden ain't gonna have too much fun running into the brick wall that is the Jets' defensive front, which, oh by the way, hasn't let a back rush for a TD on him since week three. Hire Brandon Bolden and fire Andre Ellington. With LeGarrette Blunt Dunzo, Brandon Bolden seems to be the guy that Belichick is, well, how do I put this, less uncomfortable handing the ball off to between he and James White. White still has value too as a receiver, but Bolden should touch the ball more. Meanwhile, Ellington continues to struggle with his toe, and frankly, it wouldn't be surprising to see him shelved for the rest of the regular season, especially with how well David Johnson's playing. Hire Willie Sneed and fire Devontae Adams. After taking a week off to get his calf right, Sneed responded with one of his best games of the season. He's been consistent all year with at least four receptions for at least 44 yards in nine of his last 11 games, and a soft upcoming schedule should see him comfortably surpass those totals. As for Adams, the team's definitely lost some confidence in him since Thanksgiving, and with Mike McCarthy back calling the offensive plays instead of Tom Clements, there's more emphasis on getting things going on the ground. I'm looking at you, Eddie Lacy. That's going to do it, guys. I wish you the best of luck. Keep the dream alive. Set those lineups. I'll see you next week.